While performing this work, make sure the car has not run for several hours so the coolant system is cold and depressurized. You will need to safely raise and support the vehicle as well as remove the under engine trays and drain the coolant. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. The radiator on the 951 is going to come out the top of the engine compartment, but first the fans need to come out of the bottom. Begin by removing the air box and assorted air tubes for the turbo. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance. With the airbox removed, begin removing the fans. This photo illustrates the location of the three 10mm bolts on the top of the shroud you will need to remove and indicated by red arrows. Move under the vehicle and disconnect the plugs, yellow arrows from both fans, and clip the wiring harness retainers as needed, red arrow. The plugs on the fans just pull straight back and off, red arrow. Use a 10 mm socket or wrench and remove the three bolts along the bottom of the shroud indicated by the red arrows. Use a flathead screwdriver and remove the lower radiator hose. Even though you have drained the coolant, be prepared for a little to spill out from here. The hard lines for the oil cooler will interfere with the shroud and the fan removal. You do not need to disconnect the lines. Just use a 10 mm wrench and remove the two mounting bolts indicated by the red arrows. With the bolts removed, let the cooler hang by the lines. With everything out of the way, lift the bottom edge of the fan shroud, red arrow, up and out from the lower radiator tray. The fans and the shroud should slip right out of the bottom. They're a little heavy, so be prepared. Remove the crossover pipe from the front of the engine, red arrow. Need additional assistance with that task? Please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Next, use a flathead screwdriver and remove the two hoses on the upper left side of the radiator, red arrow. Disconnect the thermo fan switch, red arrow. If you did not disconnect the reservoir supply line from the right side of the radiator when removing the crossover pipe, remove it now, yellow arrow. The lower radiator hose should already be removed, red arrow. There are two jam nuts on the top of the radiator, one on each side in each corner, red arrow. Use a 10 mm socket with an extension and fully loosen the nuts on each side. Tilt the radiator back towards the engine, red arrow. You may need to gently wiggle it around to free it from any debris that may be holding it in place. You can now lift the radiator straight up and out from the engine compartment. Use care. Even though you have drained the coolant system of all the remaining coolant, a bit more will spill out as you tilt it back and lift it. Installation is the reverse of removal. Do not forget to bleed the coolant system after refilling it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.